Hi. I just wanted to go over this um kind of crazy website about it's the uh ascensionglossary.com. Well, anyways, this website was let me see here. I just want to talk about a, uh, a, a, a teaching here about this, some, well, somebody had, uh, I don't know what they did, but they, they, uh, there was a, this teaching about crucifixion implants that I came upon, upon that, um, this, this is a theory about uh, how, uh, you know, humans can be implanted with, uh, uh, let's, let's just read through what it actually says, just to, just to hear what it says, so that, um, you can hear how kooky this, how bizarre this is. Okay, let's just read through this, because it's so weird, it's so bizarre. It says, when our planetary logos, so I guess that means logic, was invaded and corrupted by reptilian controllers, archons of the N NAA's negative alien agenda. There's all kinds of really cre crazy things that this woman talks about. Okay, so anyways, <clears throat> the planet and our face were impacted dramatically, says, uh, and then it says, uh, this meant humanity was no longer free to create and evolve as for the original blueprint of our intended creation. Uh, this is, this is just some weird shit. False Ascension Matrix. There's other teachings on here too. Um. You see here. This is just one of those, I, I don't know what to make of this. Crucifixion implants. Okay, so is this is a study that invade planetary brain in a magnetosphere to implant holographic technology to project on the left side of female blockages 7D to prevent humans from ascension. Crucifixion is represented in the pictures and idols of Jesus Christ on the cross. Images used to crucify humanity gave their implants in place. It's just talking about a negative aspect of, uh, crucis of, um, ne the, 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 the fact that, um, I don't know, man, why, why would somebody create a website like that? Like, think about that for a minute. Why, why, why does somebody have to do that? It's crazy, isn't it? But um, I'm gonna go over, um, I'm actually gonna show you guys the home page of this uh, website here extensionglossary.com it's um, this woman she's like a guru or something um, <coughs> Lisa something okay so anyways um, it, it's just one of those universal thesis theories about God and everything. I just wanted to show you guys this website. What do you guys think about things like this? Do you guys think this is just absolute garbage jargon? Just meant to enslave you, you know? Because this is what the Bible talks about. The Bible would warn us against, um, against things like, uh, New Age teaching, like New Age ideas, New Age theories. The Bible would say these things are forbid, are horrible. They're from hell, the pits of hell. Um, it just makes me wonder though, because I know that Apostle Paul was like, if anybody teaches any gospel other than the gospel that I have preached to you, and then he says, let him be accursed. Let them be accursed. Well. Isn't this like a new gospel? Wouldn't this be like a new gospel? Somebody comes down on the internet and makes some shit like this. 
But if you really think about it, I had an experience of crucifixion in 2016. I had a mental illness implant of, of uh, going. I went to a mental Ill, mental. It was a mental illness implant, a uh, crucifixion implant based off of mental health. That it was, it was actually a drug induced psychotic experience that was, um, uh, yeah, it was actually like an alien agenda. It was like aliens who had abducted me and then put a uh, crucifixion implant into my life. And, uh, uh from, uh, from then on, um, I don't know, um, I don't really know. This is probably a real turn off to some people that probably think this sounds really bizarre, and it's very bizarre. But, um, <clears throat> anyways, what had happened is I, ha I did sort of have an implantation of crucifixion, and I had a crucifixion, Christ, it was like a crucifixion consciousness of dying, and having to die, and be sacrificed be for, you, you know, it was like, a, I have to talk about this some other time, but I have to talk about it nonetheless, because I feel like it would bring in some insight into some certain things. Maybe some people would like to know about things that they can't know about, that, that, that can possibly be known about, unless somebody had experienced it. So, yeah. Really, really, like, if you're in the church, though, you would probably go to the priest and talk about it to the priest, and, and then he'll, he'll, he'll absolve it, and he'll, uh, it'll, it'll be done. Because there won't be, there, the, you know, this, that's what it's the sacrament of penance or confession is for. You could tell your sins to them, and then your sins are, are forgiven and they're erased. But, um, but if you were to, uh, if you were to get into, like, methamphetamine abuse, drug abuse, magical mushroom, uh, different kinds of drugs, and then you mix religion ideas into that, and then your mind explodes, and, you ex and your mind expands, and then you don't know what, what else to do, you're pretty much caught, and the, the devices of religion ideologies that um, enslave, ensnared you, so... Um, that happened to me, uh, it's just the fact that if, if orthodoxy is humble, uh, orthodoxy is known for being very humble in the East. So, we don't do any of that crazy shit, any kind of drug addiction, drug abuse, we don't do that shit. But, if you're like me, and you're stupid, and you have no hope for your life, you do end up getting caught in that shit. You do end up having bad shit happen to you. And bad shit can happen to you if you depart from the faith and you associate with wrong people. You meet bad people. You met, mess with witches. Wi you you meet Wiccans and uh, voodoo people. <clears throat> you know anything can anything can happen. Anything bad. So you don't want to meet meet people that are not true you know, and not have the best. They don't have a very uh, heart for you. You don't want to meet those people. Um, so yeah. Um, anyways, just this discussion about my soul, my life, and my um, experience. Like my experience with crucifixion and plantation. If you were to coin it as that, I would actually say that's what it was. That's what happened to me through, um, it was like psychic, it was like a psychic impregnation from evil, from uh, like archons, and that's a Gnostic term, archons. Archons means ruler, so, uh, or uh, something that rules you. So they, the Gnostics were like branded heresies back in the day, back in the early church, and they did have a lot of really crazy weird kind of concepts about reality and life. They weren't even really Christian. They were actually more like uh, omnism. It's like a collection of different religions. Um, 
mold it into one, trying to say that it was a religion, when it wasn't a religion in the first place. But um, <clears throat> when you get into those kinds of Gnostic, like this website, in my views, is Gnostic. But the church fought Gnosticism heavily, heavily back in the day, very heavily. And Revelation was like the capstone that sealed their fate in, Revel in the book of the Revelation. And you get to those last few writings in the New Testament. That's those are the the heresy block and apostate killing uh, you know apostate uh, just the heresy stopping writings and um, Jude and Second Peter apocalypt apocalyptic but anyways anyways that's just my take on um, on the silly silliness of Gnosticism which is uh, which is of um, which is what I, what should be ex exposed nowadays. I think people that are not exposing these um, apostasy, the apostasy, the age of apostasy, age of Aquarius, is supposed to be the age of evil, the evil age. This is the age of Aquarius, from all far as I know. And um, the Masons, the Freemasons, uh, you know, there there's the, the Gnostics are Freemasons. The Mason, the uh, I don't want to talk about that. I don't really want to talk about the Masons or anything. I don't want to say anything negative. But um, <clears throat> what I do know is Gnosticism is uh, believes they don't believe they don't have the the, the church uh, just persecuted it. Um, because you know I don't know. Kind of like, uh, think, think for a minute. Uh, so, yeah, um, if there's anything else anybody wants to, um, if anybody was, is listening to this and wants to, um, read another. Um, their book or something like um article but uh yeah um i'm afraid that robotic the roboticism of religion religion and robotics meeting together is a failure is a is a mistake and humans the church should not have association with too much of an association with technology or roboticism or robotics and any anything that gets too much into technology or robotics is kind of an apostasy it's just falling away because it's using man's trying to become god through the use of of uh, na nature well nature too but technology is kind of like nature but it's like man's it's like you know but they're trying to use it to become just like God is, and it's just, it's just apostasy. So, yeah. Anyways, the the know how the gnosis gnosis the the gnostics believed in gnosis, and they thought that gnosis, uh, you know, that's this their idea of enlightenment and knowing so but that's a trap though see that's a trap in my opinion so i actually got into that and that's actually what caused my own failure in my life and my my own crucifixion um, implantation my own idea of, of suffering and, and 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 you get picked on by evil and it's all around you and it's inside a human other human beings like the jews they thought they had to kill jesus they had to, they had to sacrifice something just to make themselves fucking uh, prosper, so you have that idea, that mental shit, and then you your mind expands and you start to think about that shit even more, and it, it you literally envision that for yourself, and you created it for yourself, and it, and, it, and it becomes a reality, and it makes you crazy, and you and you go go, go fucking go to a mental hospital, which happened to me, and I went to there for one week because of this crap, because of this crucifixion idea of implantation that Jesus Christ dying for you wasn't enough so you had to die for everybody so that you were the one instead of Jesus Christ who actually lived he was actually a real person so 
you know, having a scapegoat yourself or anybody else, or using something else to use somebody else, um, that's, <laughs> that's like something out of a scary movie or something, like something out of a nightmare, which, um, it doesn't make sense, honestly, so, um, I just wanted to discuss this, these kinds of ideas, and it sounds really bizarre, and it's very bizarre, but, um, yeah, some people have different lives, and, uh, journeys, and, um, strange, uh, strange days we are living in, I say like it is, kind of is the apocalypse, the end of, of the end of all things, and that's, Ever since the New Testament, I mean, the Bible talks about that a lot. It talks about end of, end of all things is here. We're supposed to be uniting, uh, united to God, and using God, using, using uh, being in one brotherhood and one faith, and that's one human, you know, one life. It, it's, there's one life in humanity, and we're all the same. So. Anything that we do to somebody else, we do it to ourselves, and, uh, you know, we, it's, it's literally like that, and that's how heaven is, heaven is, there's one person, <laughs> and that's, and that's, and, uh, you know, that's it, so this crazy ass, like, division of human species, of humanity, is Satan. Satan is a divider, and he's a divider of human. He wants to divide us from each other, our destiny, and our, in our, from being um, a person. Anyways, so anyways, um, so no talk about all that. It's like about um, you know, no, you know, like. We're gonna uh, ascension glossary. So, anyways, this website it's real crazy. Uh, I stumbled across it. I don't remember when. It was like a few years ago. There's a lot, a lot of, a lot of different. This lady, this woman, like was like probably possessed or something. She was listening to all this crap. She was like channeling these spirits or some shit. And. um yeah. She's talking about like alien agendas, negative archons, satanic, uh, uh, torture, um, satanic torture, the schemes, and, uh, satanic ritual abuse, uh, satanic agenda, Satanism, bloodline ideology. Fuck. Oh, I didn't go there. But I feel this. I feel like this is this is real. This shit is real. Death cult ideology. Look at this shit. This lady goes on about this shit. The NAA projects these Luciferian families. So there's like a whole, there's just like an evil family. Ritual abuse, childhood. <laughs> this type of shit will make you go crazy. If you were to read it, if you were to read it all in one city without anything else to counteract it. If you read this shit and believe it in it. Type of shit that would make you fucking go crazy. You want to fucking jump off a bridge or something. <clears throat> Um, like, it did, this type of shit actually ap happened to me, uh, many times, not just once or twice, it happened to me in my job, it happened to me in school when I was going to public school, it happened to me, uh, you know, when I was 18, when I was 2008, and it happened to me, like, uh, last year at my job, this type of shit, this type of bullshit, <laughs> that people don't fucking talk about it and they don't want to fucking they keep it up they don't want to talk about it this is the type of shit that Jesus is coming back to 
crush. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to destroy the people that destroy the earth. And the Bible says that. You know, those who prey on the weak, prey on the innocent, he, he's going he's gonna to get them. So anyways, I, I could probably make a video about um, different things. Uh, you know, my own hysteria, and my own um, delusions about uh, what you know, things that so-called uh, that hurt my life, hurt me, evil things that uh, that I've seen, and uh, but I don't really want to get into it right now. So, anyways. Yeah, I guess I'm going to end this video now and kind of just explore that a little bit. We've explored the, um, this website here. So I guess you guys know, and I wonder what you guys think about the website, what your opinion is. It's complete garbage or is some kind of wisdom there. And I think you can gather wisdom from anything, but... <clears throat> Yeah, anyways, um, good luck. I hope you guys have a blessed night, and take care. Thank you.